You're taking a video of us? Yep. <laughs> Moment of truth. Hi, welcome to Heaven is a Homestead. My name is Heather and today I'm going to be attempting to preserve some of the harvest that I've been getting. So starting to get a lot of cucumbers coming in. I have a lot of turnips. And frankly, there's only so many roasted turnips and raw cucumbers I can eat as a snack. I need to figure out what else I can do with them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these pickles and I'm going to try to make ice box or fridge pickles. So those are pickles that you put in the fridge. It's not like the traditional canning pickles that are gonna be shelf stable for a while. I got this recipe from my very good friend, Toria. It's her grandma's recipe. I went to Toria's house. She had made some pickles with her grandma's recipe and they were bomb. So uh, she was nice enough to share her recipe with me. So I'm gonna try it. So to this bowl, I added three cups of white vinegar and I just buy these uh, jugs from Costco. They're pretty cheap and it's just nice to have a lot of white vinegar on hand for the summertime when you're going to be canning or pickling and, and that type of thing. So three cups of white vinegar, I've got three cups of water and I'm just going to add, start adding everything to this bowl. Water and then I need six tablespoons of salt. All right, let's get six tablespoons of salt. Five. <laughs> Spilling salt everywhere, okay. Six, okay. Looks like a lot of salt. I think when you're doing things like this, the salt really helps keep the crispiness so you don't have like a mushy pickle. And three teaspoons of peppercorns. I don't have, I don't think I have peppercorns, I'll check, but I might just put uh, black pepper. Ha, I do. I do have peppercorns. Look at me being prepared. All right, three teaspoons. And I just need the minced garlic. All right, that's everything she said. If you want to make it a little bit spicy, you can add some jalapenos. My jalapenos aren't ready yet out in the garden. So I think I'm gonna add some five color Chinese peppers that I grew last summer that I dehydrated and made into a crushed, uh, crushed pepper flake. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit. <laughs> I don't have too many left, but if my husband was gonna eat these, he doesn't like spicy food, so I would not add them, but he doesn't like pickles. So I am gonna add that. That might've been a lot, that might've been. These are really hot. That might've been too much, but it's too late. All right, I'm just gonna mix that up just a little bit. It smells good though. And there is gonna be some dill in this, but we'll put the dill in the jars when we're ready to package the cucumbers. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna wash them, cut them up and see how many we can fit in the brine. what those silver slicer cucumbers look like on the inside and I really like the flavor I think they're great I'm definitely gonna keep growing them okay gosh it smells it smells really good uh, all right um, that guy right there. these are pretty long so I'm gonna cut it like a third so we're gonna cut up and add all of these all the cucumbers we want to add and let it sit for one to two hours all right, I'm taking you out to the garden with me to get a few more ingredients. I need more garlic and dill because I'm type B and I didn't plan ahead, so. I'm gonna grab some fresh sprigs of dill here. I think the recipe said 12. So our pickles have been sitting in the brine for about two hours and it's time to go ahead and put them in the jars. So I'm gonna separate this dill that we got into 
the three separate jars. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to get an even amount of pickles in each one. Now I'm gonna take this funnel to help me fill the jars with the brine. I'm gonna try to leave like a quarter inch headspace. Okay, now I'm just gonna put the lids on. Okay. Well, they look pretty good. I'm gonna put them in the fridge and leave them there. Ideally, about a week. I think the longer you leave them, the more flavor develops. But I will bring you back after they've had at least a few days to sit and we'll try them together. I'm back. It's been a couple of days. I was planning to do all of these videos in the same day, but you know, life happens and new episodes of Stranger Things came out. So I'm back today trying to make some Lebanese or Middle Eastern style pickled turnips. So I've never made these before, but my husband is Lebanese, so we eat a lot of Lebanese food in our house. I'm gonna try these. I don't know that we'd eat two full jars, so I'm probably gonna give one of these to my in-laws. I got this recipe from Tina Kazarian's YouTube channel. I chopped up one beet, five turnips, and four cloves of garlic, and I heated up my brine on the stove, which was one and a quarter cups of vinegar, five cups of water, and three tablespoons of fine sea salt. I went ahead and sterilized these jars, so I just put them in the simmering water for about 10 minutes. And so what I'm gonna do is add half of the garlic to each one of these. And then I'm gonna add turnips a little less than halfway up the jar. add some beets. So the beets are what gives them that hot pink color when they're done. Okay. I'm gonna add the rest of my turnips now. I'm trying not to get any beets in there yet. All right, I'm getting close to the top, so I'm gonna try to add some more beets now. <sighs> Um, I think that's pretty good. I might just try to stuff these last ones in because I don't want to waste any. Okay. So now I'm going to take my hot brine from the stove and pour it over. And I uh, heated up the jars when I sanitize them because you don't want to put hot uh, brine or water or anything into cold jars or and you also don't want to put hot jars onto a cold countertop so that's why i have a towel and that's why i heated up the jars because the glass will break all right i added the brine all the way up to the top with about a quarter inch of headspace or about a quarter inch of space from the top of the brine to the top of the jar. Put the lids on and the canning rings on to just fingertip tight. And I'm gonna let these cool to room temperature, pop them in the fridge, let them sit there for four to five days, and then we'll check on them. All right, moment of truth. It's good? Very good. I'm gonna take one more. It's very good. It tastes like it's how it's supposed to? Yeah. Uh, I think it might need a little bit more time just hey. for it to, be, to be softer, mm. but it's very good. Mm. Very good. Did you try my, did you try my turnips? Did you try them? Uh, I did. They taste very good. Are you sure? Yeah, I like it. Lift it, I can't, my hand. Yeah, I love it. 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 Yeah, I
the bit more. Thank you. Do you have anything sweet? Sweet. Banana bread. Banana bread. Ice cream. Ice cream. Your face didn't look like that good. Your face <laughs> looked like it's nasty. It's good? It's good. It's been about a week, a little over a week. Really good. Really good. They're a lot better than when I tried them, like after a couple of days in the fridge. They've been sitting like a week and a couple of days, like so crispy, really good. And the flavors developed a lot more. Like when I had them before, it was just kind of like not much flavor and just spicy. But now all the flavors of like everything, the garlic, the dill, the peppercorns, the vinegar, everything that we put in there, really good, really good. So that's it for this video, making two different types of fridge pickles. We made some dill fridge pickles and some Middle Eastern pickled turnips. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hope to see you next time.